Hi, welcome to In Harmony. My name is Angela Scuna Culliera. We hear of the popular saying that goes, We are what we repeatedly do. Thereby, what we eat, drink, think or do, reflect of whom we are and what we value about. Today we share with you that through determination and a healthy body, anything is possible. Here's the story of accomplished triathletes and trail runners. Triathlon has come a long way since it first started gaining popularity way back in 90s. Today, it is considered as one of the fastest growing popular sports in the country, played by a lot of sports enthusiasts including some TV personalities. And here in Cagayan de Oro, we've come across a triathlon team composed of triathletes bonded by fun, friendship, and tested by trainings and races. Together with them, we will indulge ourselves deep in the world of being a triathlete. Triathlon is a multiple stage competition mm -mm. Uh, that uh, uh, various of completion of various of three sequence uh, mm -hmm. discipline involving like swimming. Okay. Uh, uh, cycling and running. Mm -mm. So it's always like that, yes, the sequence. Like that. Okay. And. Mogi na siyang sequence anong pan. Then, sa swimming, we have uh, equipment. Then, we have sa bike. Sa cycling, we have bike. Then, sa running, we have jersey, uh, shorts, like shoes, running shoes. A local race, any bike would be sufficient enough to, to play, to participate, like to participate. But in uh, an Ironman, half distance, and on uh, the NAGT? Yes. Uh, the, the, the Ironman, we use only two kinds of bike. Okay. The road bike and the tri bike. The, okay. Yes. Here in Cagayan, we can use mountain bike because we we allowed to play mm -mm. Uh, uh, like a uh, beginner's triathlon. Mm -mm. Yeah. But you would recommend to use the tri bike? Yes, okay. uh, that not, re not really tri bike, you can use a uh, road bike road also. Bike. But oh, in, oh. You, when you use the mountain bike, ala last pag magbuhat ng udya. Ang yung pedal, pag gani mo, mas lisod siya ikan. Then ang yung hangin. So much effort yes. because you still have a run to yes. accomplish. There are four uh, distance in triathlon. Mm -mm. We we'll call it uh, 750 the spent distance, 750 swim. Okay. Then the 20 k na bike, mm -hmm. then a uh, 5 k na kilometer na run. Mm -hmm. And so we have the speed. standard distance, the uh, Olympic distance, uh, 1.5 kilometer na swim. Okay. Then ah. Uh, Yes, 1.5. Then uh, the bike is 40 kilometer. Oh, that's longer. Yes. Then the running is uh, 10 uh, 10 k run. Mm -mm. Yes. Then we have the half half distance triathlon. We call it 70.3. The okay. yes, this is the half distance. We have 1.9 kilometer swim. All right. Yes. There and then uh, running uh, biking is 90 kilometer. And that's half a distance. Yes, okay. that's half a distance. <laughs> then we have 21 kilometer na run. All right. So I would imagine the fourth one would be yeah, a double of that yeah, double. of those distances. A double. In the Philippines, did we have that the the the, the fourth? Yeah. Uh, class? Here in or the Philippines, we, we have lo the locals. Mm -mm. The, uh, the the locals they made it uh, seven as the sprint, the standard. And the seventy point three. Is there like like, like a specific like cut off per discipline in the triathlon? Um, generally speaking, if you join a triathlon race, um, most of the races, especially the local races, mm -hmm. these are friendly races, okay. meaning there's no cut off. Uh -oh. So if you join the Ironman, there's a bra you have bragging rights. Mm -hmm. we, call it, we call it bragging rights because when you join the Ironman the half distance 
there is a cut off for the swim, bike, and the run. So, oh. for example, for the swim, uh, the cut off time is one hour ten minutes. So if you go past the cut off time, you can no longer join the bike leg. So you have to complete each um, sport or discipline at, at the same time because we consider triathlon. Although there are three sports involved, mm -hmm. um, it's really just one sport. Com com it's a combination of the three sports, so rolled into one event. Mm -hmm. We also have the off-road off -road triathlon, so that, that this is where the mountain bike comes in. Triathlon is an exciting multidiscipline sport involving a continuous race over various distances in the three disciplines of swimming, cycling, and running. A standard triathlon is made up of a swim, followed by a cycle ride and a run, combined with self-discipline and time management. Oh, training! Do you do you? Is it a requirement that you get like a trainer for triathlete? Yes, for, um, for me, yes. But some of us, as my nga train ko kung magaling Aha, but siguro unless if you have already like familiarized. Mm -hmm the course yes Anna, so. yeah. it's important it's also very important to have your own coach also so that there will be some somebody to mentor you yeah. and also so that you will know if you are improving or not mm. so that's important although some triathletes they train on their own so that's also uh, uh, it depends on the triathlete it is also acceptable it really depends on the um, triathlete because there are triathletes who just join for fun, there are those who are really competitive, mm -hmm. so others only want to keep fit. So it really depends on the objective of the triathletes, why they are into triathlon. Mm -hmm. But for most of that, you have to be fit. Yeah, uh, actually, uh, you're supposed to train, uh, not really uh, doing diet or going like that. Uh, ang pag-diet man god is uh, depende na sa player kung gusto mm. siya mo mo loss na uh -huh. dito sa yang kwan for actually sa amo triathlete dili kay me required na totally mag-diet gud na mag-diet kay Mas we are uh, training for three three uh, yes different disciplines, uh, disciplines. Oh. Yes. swimming and then cycling then running uh, dapat mo take gika but you take it a proper proper meal, mm -hmm. uh, not it. Dili lang siya pun nga basta basta. Basta basta. So they have to consider that your body would be able to survive those three disciplines. Otherwise, the important is the nutrition that you take and mm -hmm. the uh, the uh, nutrition, dietitian. Mm -hmm. That's the important thing. E equally important to the physical training is also the nutrition. So mm -hmm. uh, there's really no strict. Um, uh, diet or food that we take, but usually um, oily foods, oily food or um, uh, chicharia, chips or uh, high sugar, yeah, junk foods. Mm -hmm. um, so, so as much as quite, possible. Uh, uh -huh. As much as possible, it was long. Uh -huh. sa so there's really like a transition now from <laughs> like moving into la having a healthier lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Every race is a challenge. That's what most triathletes instill in their minds. And every challenge is a new experience that can motivate a triathlete to train harder and be better. After all, that's what being an Ironman is all about. Being able to accomplish and endure every challenge, not just in races, but in life as well. Is it also like, is there, was there also like a struggle like, your body is already almost giving up. Did you have that in your experience of a race? You're, you feel that your body is almost giving up, but you still have to continue on the race. You're almost there. Was there were, were there experiences like that? I always experience experiences. Every, every okay, race. every race, right? <laughs> it's like every race is a struggle. And, okay. Um, I always, because uh, they say uh, in triathlon, 90% is mental, only 10% okay. is physical. So it's really a mental struggle every time I join a triathlon race. So it's like it's really when you get to the finish line, it's a, it's a time that you stop. So it's, you don't stop in the middle of the swim, in the middle of a bike. Wow. So it's really you have to be mentally tough. The the, the question is, some are saying, "Magrunning rako kay mo rin siya kung makaya, di ba? 
magbike ko wala na ako because na triathlon is the is the sport for the elites yes. ko no anak yun siya so <laughs> sige daw kamo naman yun what's your take on that <laughs> actually you can Oo. you can you can bike you can mm -hmm. run you can swim Pwede naman ka mag-triathlon sa mong kaugalingon, di ba? Mm -mm. Uh, actually, yeah. yes, actually, actually uh, by not joining the event, mm -mm. only the event is so expensive. In other words, you can do it and it also helps if you want to really join competition to join groups, yes. di ba? Mm -hmm. Because that's when you get the help that you needed. The important is, uh, makakuan ka, maka, maka burn or maka maborn mo yung mga kan ka train kag taro nga uh -oh. na tawag mo wala yung mga stress uh -oh. kagalingon at lai you are uh, the only rose <laughs> di ba <laughs> among the thorns and it's this is really because the impression is if it's a tri triathlon it's like the men's world but now we're seeing women like Eli and then we have like the likes of Isabel Daza yeah. i understand di ba she's also into that how is it? How how are women received in this kind of sport? Okay, well, were there like biases initially or discrimination? When we joined this uh, triathlon, we also we don't think of ourselves as women. We think of ourselves as an equal with equal. men. So we don't uh, like to be treated um, like a, a, a woman na uh, uh, like to be babied na siya ikuan. We also strive to be as. Uh, competitive with the uh, equal to the men as well. actually for the women it really depends on again going back to the your objective enjoying the triathlon like uh -oh. me personally as a woman I wanna be just to be fit and to enjoy but not really because it depends on your age also uh -oh. when you join the triathlon. Aside from focusing on the trainings and preparations for the competition, being conscious of the environment is also an advocacy of every triathlete that participate in every triathlon races. For nature plays a vital role in achieving or making every race possible. Yes, uh, because uh, naman tayo swimming, di ba? Supposed to swim a clean water. Mugi na importante dapat. Ang atong dagat, always be clean. Training for a bike race is hard. Training for a marathon or a 400-meter swim is hard. But training to do all three back-to-back? That sounds pretty hard and intimidating. But as what our triathlete said, as long as we love what we are doing, there's no excuse to not just do it. Just go out there and have fun. Be an Iron Man. Coming up next, a Thailand-based Filipino runner who happens to be the first Asian with the title of Trail Grand Master, Mr. Alexis J. Kapili. And today, he will take us onto the path towards the beauty of trail running and how he manages to stumble into this world. First runner to get the Grandmaster title Grandmaster for Asia Trail Masters series. started walking around on two feet, we've been trail running. Well, before cobblestones and asphalts made permanent paths for us to follow. And in today's generation, trail running continues to grow in popularity worldwide, thus making it a sport. Unknown to everyone is that there are actually a lot of people who engage in trail running. One of them is a Thailand-based Filipino runner who happens to be the first Asian with a title of Trail Grand Master, Mr. Alexis J. Kapili. And today, he will take us onto the path towards the beauty of trail running and how he manages to stumble into this world. Thank you so much, Lick, for your time, or Alexis Kapili. First runner to get the Grand Master title Grand Master for Asia Trail Masters series. Wow. How do you do it? To begin, siguro, yun sa ni Mugsugod, o so, may abot na kaani. Nag-start kong trail running is in January 2015, ultramarathon, ultra trail running. 
Okay. So that was 50 kilometer. Uh -huh. Then after that 50. So at least once a month I do a race just to improve myself para ana. Mm -mm. Tapos train lang sa atong bukid. Wala, enjoy na ko yung pamilya ko na sa bukid. Ikaw ra isa. Ila ka oras, 3 hours to 6 hours. Really? At the mountain. So, uh -oh. Enjoy mo na ako. So, dito lang sugod. Mm -mm. So, karun, uh, sige akong kong race para ma-improve ko. What were you like? Were you always ka na nga into outdoor na before? Para siguro... Before, nun... five years before, nag-start ko sa ano, uh, mountain biking. Mm -mm. Uh, sa, sa way back 2000... One sa Manila, uh -oh. then then balik ko sa work ko sa Thailand. Nit ng balik ko mountain biking five years ago. Uh -oh. Then ang stop ko, tapos ni ko. Uh, Mar na kita ta 2011. Uh, <laughs> Nambuko, yeah. exercise. Uh -oh. Malay ng 2014 nag start ko running. Mm -mm. Kato na siya, 2000 and then 2015 nag join na din kag ultra ultra trail. Ultra, ultra trail. What are your preparations like, like, sa kanang koan? Karong races? Sa or? normal nga 100k, mm -mm. before, what naman? At least, mudagang kung 10 hours a week. Eh, busy ko sa trabaho, ana. After run, office. Up, unsa na, run yun na siya dito sa bukid? Dili, ako or, sa road rock ko, sa uh -oh. gawa sa balay, sa subdivision, di alam, magdagan-dagan lang ko. Uh -oh. For more than uh, one hour. Tapos, during weekends, long run ka na. Importante ka na siya, long runs. Mm -mm. Long runs sa bukid. Eh, like, pang-endurance, no? Endurance. Mm -mm. Uh, four to five hours. Ka na, yun eh. Train ka sa heat. Train ka sa imong oh. pagkaon. Train ka sa tubig, ka na. Pero naa kay trainer? Wala. Ikaw Wala. lang yun ang mag-train. Wow. Dika mga basahan sa internet about yun, ano, mga, mga training, ano. Kaya mm -hmm. naman. Tapos, uh, isa po sa akong preparation ka na mag-gym ko. Ka na strength workout na uh, mas strong imong legs kay isa sa you know, isa sa inju mag cause sa injury is kulang kag strength mm -hmm. like dili sa imong quad sa imong calf mo nang ma, ma injured dali kung dili ka mag ano so, gym ikaw kung mo join ka og trail run dapat kay bulod ka sa imong strength physical nga strength oh, o kay bulod ka yun. maminaw mm -hmm. sa imong oh labi na Pananitan mo, saka kag bukid nga, tagas ka ayaw. Mm -mm. Ang hill. Dapat yung i-train mo diri, yung quads, muscles. Ano. Oo. But you also, but you also like, make sure nga, dili ra po ni mo, ginapush ka ayaw yung muhang body. Dili po, oh, ano, Oo. tama. Dili po kayo push kay madawat mo sa ka, dapat na po kay rest, at least ako, ako mo rest kong two days. Mm -mm. Try ko run o 100 km a week. Oo. Pero dapat mo rest kag two days. Oo. Mm. Ah, naging siya kayo para imong body ma-recuperate. Wow. Is this koan? Kana imo bitong title nga karon is that part of your goal? Nga ma-achieve ni mo siya? Or it goes with ka nang pag-join pag lang ni mo? Nga, uy, naaman po di ay siya yun. Eh. So, ang goal gina ko is last year is uh, Ultra Trail Mount Blanc, UTMB. One of the prestigious uh, running event in Europe. I held sa sa Chamonix, France. So, gamay rin kayong Pilipino ka so, para naka-finish. So, mungin ako pinaka-goal. Tapos, ang second goal na ko is to finish the Asia, to get the title of uh, Grandmaster title sa Asia Trail Master Series dili sa Asia. Wow. So, karong kuan, uh, last year, so, I have to earn nine points. Mm -mm. So, para maka-appeal ka ato. Before maka-appeal ko ato, maka-qualified ko uh -oh. to, the, to do the lottery. Huh? So, sa lottery, more than 20,000 uh, runners will join for the lottery and then almost 2,000 lang maka-appeal wow. for the race. So, and how is... Murag, nakakita kong imong gi-post? Mm, so, <laughs> Mao na to, lusot na? <laughs> naka-appeal kong tulog ka 100 races, qualified ko sa 100 races. Mm -hmm. uh, first is sa uh, Kota Kinabalu, Team, B, Team BT, then second sa uh, Thailand. Mm -hmm. Uh, Doi Sotep 100 km and then sa Mount Bromo sa Indonesia. Indonesia. 100 km. So, uh -oh. total 9 points. Kato, enough na to siya mo para maka-qualify ko sa UTMB. Okay. So, after na-qualify ko, ang pinakalisod is luck. Kung saan na ang pasabot sa luck? 
Oh, it's luck. a lottery. Luck. It's a raffle. Oh, okay. It's a raffle nga para kung bunot -bunot. Bunot -bunot. So, so, in Philippines, qualify. there are like only three slots. Nga nung inana man siya. Oh, For inana, small countries like in Philippines, Thailand, Malaysia, tulo lang. Oh, wow. Tulo lang makasulod. Unlike sa Hong Kong, Japan, dagan kasi lag slots available. Wait lang. Even if makuha na ni mo ang Grandmaster nga title, wala to siya ay... Grandmaster is lahi lahi siya, siya. Lahi siya nga pa na target na ako. Oh, okay. Hala, no? We'll be praying for you. Kay, so, it's pinaka really a pride. Pinaka-main goal din ako is ang UTMB. Mm -mm. Kay mo mo na pinaka-prestigious gitu. Pinaka-prestigious. How long is that? 170 kilometer. Oh my gosh, so, that's about pila ka oras. Limit is 48 hours. Wow. 48 hours without uh, sleeping. So, because uh, kanimang ko na race, Maski elite na ka, mm -mm. mag-DNF ya ka. So there's a lot of uh, elite runners nga na DNF na. Okay. Like especially sa Americans, wala pa yung American nga na champion. Ano nga race? Oh wow! Yeah. Muna yung isun, pinakalisun nga race. Ultra Trail du Mont Blanc or UTMB is a single stage mountain ultra marathon known to be as one of the prestigious event in trail running. It takes place once a year and is widely regarded as one of the toughest and most difficult foot races in Europe, which also has the largest numbers of participants. Uh, my ideal gin weight is mga 55 and 56 kilos. Kana siya sa imuhan na yung kanang capable na gidi mong body. Oh, okay. Before sa UTMB, dapat mo na ang race good kay. Sa 100 miler nga race mga good, 170 kilometer race, weight is ako kay factor mm -mm. kay 3-4 kilos nga extra weight sa yung lawas kapoy na kaya na siya lagi pero dili na siya nagpasabot that you will starve yourself dili dili, dili. so it's a matter of management lang kung unsa imong ginakaon mm. and oh. mafit imo hang lawas o oh, ana tapos dapat i-reduce ni mo yung fat mm -mm. yung tayo kana sugar yung ana anang soda dili yan kanabi to inyo hang food because you bring man food sa trail no or mm. unsa man you, ha you bring your food sa sa trail, were there also like kana instances nga ang organizer maghatag sa inyo, ha? Na may or, mga kuhan sa mga races na yung mga checkpoint, mm -mm. may mga water station, food station, mm -mm. so kanang akong magdala kong food for ano na sa emergency. Ah, okay. So kung buto mo na kayo, kanang luya na kakaayaw. Nalayo pa kayo ka sa check. pa kayo ko sa kaong gika, na, oh, oh. kung yung katubig. So kanang mga work, uh, food station, importante kaya siya nga. Pag naka sa food station, dapat kaong gika. Mm -mm. Ang inong tubig din yan. Tapos taga na po. Nakamention ka equipment. Can you like share? Kaya basta yung mga viewers, mm. bitaw interesado sila. Unsa yung basic nga equipment nila nga ilang i-prepare para makakuan sila? Uh, basic ka ng, oh. lang, hydration vest. Oh. Mura na siya. Kaya lang siya. Ang oh. sapatos na siya particular? Sapatos, bigit na. Mm -mm. Kaya nag kung daga ka bukid, yun lang mag-vest. Mm -mm. Butang niyo mong tubig, pagkaon. Pagkaon, huwag katuin mo ang telephone. So, Naka-phone nga, sakto. Mm -mm. Just like any other runner, Mr. Kapili had also encountered challenges along his journey. But it did not stop him from achieving his goals. Instead, he viewed it as a challenge and motivation that drives him to push harder and take a step forward towards his passion. Like, were there... Because, like, listening to you, amazing yung kaayo. But did you have had, like, kanang challenges in achieving what you what you dreamt and the status that you are in now behind king challenges ani uh -huh. okay. first is di ko gusto ma dnf uh -uh. but nahita na siya last year kay wala ko na prepare okay, ko na prepare uh -uh. sa tnf philippines na challenge ko ato kay uh -oh. grabe pre -pre preparation ako ato kay months ko nag train ato tapos na dnf ko 10 minutes late oh wow so na challenge ko ato after that na dito na ako na nga dapat na kay resilience oh, kanabi oh. tong mas gutom na kakayo antuso na gin mo makaabot lang ka oras ka. Mm, mas sakit na kayong tail so antuso perseverance na. perseverance it's all in the mind you'd put mm, no mental mental you'd put siya mm. kay it's a challenge mm. ikaw ra isa dito sa bukid and then you're suffering in oh. ana so there's a choice of give up or, or continue ana continue ana sa kay bisit mo kay nang Dagan ka ga-expect sa mga, uy, ano, kahuman ka, tapos di, di, di bitaw. Isa po na sa arason nga, gusto bitaw ko kuhan, maka-finish good sa mga, yan, mga race. Mm -mm. Kaya it's a test sa imuhang self, sa endurance test, oh, ni mo, oh, kung asag yung kataman. Oh. 
ba? Mm. Wow. So ang trail run like naka ano sa imo ha? Pretty sure. It's obvious man siguro no nga it made you like go into like the healthy choices na of oh, ano. Oh, siempre may dako kay improvement sa akong kwan health kay before kay nambuka kay bisig unsay kauno na na. At to restaurant kaon na. Oo. Di mo bantay ang health nga nambuka ko. Ang kilos sa una before nag run ko abot og 75. Wow. 25 kilos na bitambo ka was karon. Mm -mm. 59 kilos na lang ko. Ano? It's so ano no, it's so amazing. Like imuhang imuhang journey ba. Nga dili ra gyud pud siya nga inana ra pud siya kadali. Mm. But yet you did not give up. Padayon yun. Nga no man, what pushed you? Sa ko ah, kanang dekan ni rason pero ang pinaka ko sa ko is I love challenges. Mm -mm. Ma challenge mo gugod kang ubi nag saka kag bukid nga lisod kayo. Like, I, when I did the Mount Bromo race up sa Indonesia, mm -mm. ang race na sa bulk, active volcano, grabe yes. kalisod yun kay mag... Wow. Sulfur. Uh, sulfur, tapos ang dust, lisod mm -hmm. kayo. Dito ko na siya yung sumayo nga. Dapat mag-trendy kong mag 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 sumayo. Ano. Mm -mm. Ang, the more nga mag-appeal kong dagag race, mas mo improve man ko. Labi nag... Mag-paspas akong kuhan, okay kaya kong oras. Mm -mm. Kaya sa Mount Bromo, nakakaman ko dito third place. Mm -mm. O kung ka-expect na maka-third place ko, at okay. Ga-enjoy mo ko sa kuhan sa view. Eh. <laughs> kuhag, kuhag picture. Oh, okay. Ay, wapo kayong view. Oo. Oh. Uh -oh. Kung ka-expect na third day ko ito. <laughs> kung ano siya, like, no? Like, I understand, di ba, kung hiking or mountaineering adiktom, naging sila giniingon nga, never underestimate the power of the mountain. Mm -hmm. So mo nang you practice, you practice. practice you okay. join Waka the race, si ba? Tabo, si sa bukid. Oo. Oh, oh. okay. Tapos ang importante pod ka nang na kay phone, kay mawala mm -hmm. ka. Dagay kay kog amigo nga mga runners nga nawala. Nandi na sila kay nawala. Okay. So dapat kabalugig ka sa kwan sa marking sa trail, oh, oh. Uh, sa andalan. Kay mo na isa karon sa madinet ka, mawala ka for 6 7 hours. Mm -hmm. So dapat na kay back up ba? Mm -mm. Okay, ang ubang usually sa mga races... So, pwede sila mag-call? Pwede, pwede ka manawag. Ikaw, pwede nga uh, kung asa dapit. Mm. Ah. Or usually mag-good sa mga races na mga wala markings. Mm -mm. Okay, sa mga local, ano mang good, na yung gabi noang ba, tanggalo ng mga markings, oh, oh. labinag ka ng mga crossing, mm -mm. tanggalo ng markings, di kakabalo, asa dapit mo na gan. Munang may tabog na siya. So, kung kato siyang i-ano no, i-process ba? Sa trail running, you get to improve yourself nga mud kang kanaga join ka oh, kung join kung ikuan na to siya sa kinabuhi mo improve ka if you will face More challenges, challenges. Uh -huh. di ba yeah. secondly you have to be quick no kay katong mga trail signs oh. you have to be quick and decide kung asa mm. ka unsa ni mo agi you have to be like diba? kasi kapoy na kakayo mm -hmm. dapat mo kang ika alert di ka alert you mm -hmm. ka at the same time imuhang body you have to push mm -hmm. kay naman kay goal oo oh, oh. 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 dili ka dili ka dapat mag give up and, and katong sa phone that means also kung ato siyang equate sa kinabuhi nga even if you're doing the race alone di pud sya pwede gyud pod nga ikaw na lang gyud tanan mm. di ba kay importante pod nga dapat may ka oo oh, oh. in case of emergency mm -mm. ana bitaw mo touch lang ko gamay ha because you're a filipino considering a mm. philippines ta gyud because mm. you're running as a filipino man gyud mm. did you feel like any discrimination and how did you overcome man, before kay, ako Naman ko'y, sa, based ko sa Thailand, ako'y team, Thai team. Ah, okay. So, so happy kayo na gidawat oh. ko nila. Kaya naku'y na, 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 mga sponsor sa, mga, oh, oh. sa akong team. Ano. Oh, oh. So, wala man discrimination. Wala. So, at least, di ba? Hindi ako ma-feel ang discrimination. Oh, that's so nice to hear. Kaya lahir mo ng kongod, mga trail runners. Kay, maski sa PN o Pubri, pareho ramo. Mm -mm. So, ang ending, anak, kung, kung maski, makalahutay ka. Maski, wapag ka sila grillo, wapag ka mga gamit. Uh -oh. na sila. <laughs> <laughs> Trail running is not just about finishing the race and being ahead of everyone. Somehow getting out and indulging oneself into the wonders of nature can be a welcoming respite from the crazy modern world and giving ourselves a chance to a first-hand nature experience, thus advocating the need to care for nature. This was pointed out by a Norwegian trail runner enthusiast and advocate, Mr. Jan Nielsen. Many people joining race because it's fantastic views out mm -hmm. on the trails. Be going over uh, mountains and uh, it's f just fantastic to be out of, mm -mm. out in the nature. Yeah. So that would also mean that if you are into trail run, 
Your advocacy would also be the protection and the care of our environment. Yes. Plastic is the biggest problem in, in the world today and mm -hmm. uh, it's sad to see that so many people are just dropping their plastic bottles or plastic bags and, uh, along the trail or at the car window. So. And it's take hundreds of years before it's gone. So, Yeah, the, there is also races that do it. After a race you can see many empty uh, gel packs and uh, candy paper and bottles around so it's, it's... So it's really like a challenge for them to like really appreciate the nature. One of the reasons you're running is supposedly to appreciate the nature. Yes. So the challenge is for them to really like understand you could be able to continue to appreciate the nature unless you would take care. Yes, right. because uh, your mother is not working, uh, walking behind you and picking up after you. Yeah, so. so you have to do your share. Mr. Kapili admits he enjoys challenges and that struggles are what make him tough and resilient. The steps towards becoming a better version of his self. So in the next like five years, we're still seeing and hearing Alexis Kapili joining uh, races. Oh, what's Siguro plans. next year, basi makasulod ko mapil ko guan, register ko sa ano, qualified naman ko for ano, Western States 100 sa US. Sa US na. Oh. Okay, Mopo na isa ka uh, prestigious race sa US. Ma -oh. It's like uh, Boston Marathon. Oh wow. It's equivalent to Boston Marathon yung Western States 100. Okay, we'll be praying for yeah. that. Will you be coming back sa Philippines? Because you're based in Thailand. Hmm. Diba? Balik ko and... once a year. Oh -oh. Depende kung nai-race na po, balik. Oh -oh. <laughs> once a year na po. <laughs> We hope and we are really praying for your success and please know that we are so, so proud. Escaping into the woods and taking in the beauty of nature is like hitting two birds with one stone. For trail running is not merely running itself, it may enhance the physical, mental, emotional and spiritual areas of your life. Either way, I dare you to get off paved roads, off the treadmill and into the nature. You'll find yourself even more engaged in your run than usual. It can be tiring, but it certainly won't be boring. Just don't let trails intimidate you. After all, it's just dirt. The Bible speaks to us in 1 Corinthians 10.31 that says, So whether you eat or drink, or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. After all, our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. And in so doing, we are inviting Him to guide us and empower us to be better stewards. That's it for us this time. For more of our stories and tips, visit our Facebook page. That's www.facebook.com slash inharmonytv. We thank you so much for your continued patronage as well as our media partners for their unwavering support. Let us all remember, we only have one earth. Let us care and share. Live in harmony. Today, we share with you a story of determination and a healthy body. Ah, wait lang. Hold on. Hello? Thereby, what we eat, drink, see, or be. Think, Mango. <laughs>